What is going on guys? Back with my latest video, back with another installment of Speculation Saturdays. So I have a couple things I wanna go over with you guys today. I wanna give you an update on our $1,000 Funko Pop portfolio uh, progress, as well as some information about our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And I do have one Funko Pop that I wanna suggest for you guys today that I think is gonna go up in value over time. I may have even suggested this pop in the past, but there has been some recent news that I think may pop, uh, push this pop even further and maybe even quicker than I originally thought. So let's get right into that and see what we got. Here we go. All right, guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So the first thing I want to discuss is our $1,000 Funko Pop portfolio because I think that kind of ties into Speculation Saturdays as well. If you've not checked that video out already, I'll put an information card up there so you guys can check it out. Very fun project, I think. An experiment that I think is going to be pretty cool for you guys to see and be part of. Um, but we did put the first poll out there and we had over 200 votes for our first uh, purchase, which I really appreciate the interaction. It's really cool to see you guys um, getting involved in this project. Um, but the first pop looks like we're going to be buying with our first $150 for this portfolio. It's going to be a Freddy Funko pop. So later today, I'm going to put a poll on which Freddy to buy. And then after um, about a day of voting, I will purchase that pop and that'll be our first pop for this portfolio and like I said we'll monitor the progress um, I'll do episodes or excuse me on videos um, you know periodically just to kind of let you guys know if the pops going up in value down in value and we still have $850 to spend to get our thousand dollars like I said if you guys are interested um, I will do a Pokemon card and a comic book one as well if that's something you're interested make sure you drop a comment down below and uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be a really fun experiment. I'm glad that you guys are buying in and, and appreciate it and like the idea as well. I just think it'd be really fun to see if you can actually make any money buying Funko Pops. And uh, maybe if we do the other ones, see which one ends up being the better investment long-term as far as collectibles go. My personal I guess would probably be comic books. Just that's my opinion, but I really don't know. And that's why I kind of want to do this experiment and uh, you know let you guys have the input as far as uh, how it goes. So. Appreciate everyone who has supported this so far and been involved and uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to the community page for these polls moving forward so that we can, uh, you know, figure out what we're going to add to this portfolio. So with that being said, let's move to the next thing I want to talk about, which is our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, guys. So like I said in the previous video, I am approaching 10,000 subscribers and uh, I asked you guys what you guys would like to see um, since it's a mix of things uh, as far as collectibles on this channel. And uh, I did like the idea that you guys had on winner's choice. So I got three different items here and I'm going to allow people to decide which item they like to win. So what you have to do in order to win is just drop down the comment section below which of these three items you like to win. And once we hit 10,000 subscribers, I will randomly pick a comment and the winner will get this fun Funko Pop, comic book, or Pokemon card sent to them. So um, I definitely would strongly advise to share this out to your friends and family members. The faster we approach 10,000 subscribers, the faster this will be given away. So let me show you guys the items. So up first, we have a Pokemon Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. So this is one of my favorite packs that's come out recently to open. Uh, you have this amazing rare Pokemon. You have the Chunky Pikachu VMAX and Secret Rare card as well. And uh, just overall, very, very cool. You get all this stuff in there. You get, I think it's eight booster packs. Yeah, eight booster packs. You get a stack of energies, uh, deck dividers, sleeves, dice, a whole lot of things in here. So very cool Elite Trainer Box. If you like this, make sure you drop down in the comment section below. Do you like the Elite Trainer Box? And um, if you win, as long as you're domestic, I will cover the shipping. If you're international, we'll figure something out. Probably split the uh, shipping 50-50. Um, but that's the first thing you can win if you're interested in that. Up next, I have a comic book for you guys if you're interested in this. I have a Dark Knight's Death Metal Legends of the Dark Knight number one. This is greater than 9.6. This is the first appearance of the Robin King. So this was one of the hottest books from this year. Um, it's graded 9.6. Um, if anybody likes this, drop down in the comment section below. Very cool book. Definitely has a lot of potential, I think. Um, they haven't even really started utilizing Robin King as much as I think they will. And this is probably the most hyped up release of this year. 
um, as far as comic books go and definitely some big potential with this comic book moving forward. So if you'd like to win this, drop down that in the comment section below. And the final item that I have as an option for this uh, giveaway is Bakugo. This is the San Diego Comic Con Bakugo. Um, very, very cool one. I have multiples of these, so I figured I'd give one away. And uh, this Bakugo, very, very cool pop. I think one of the best pops of the year so far. You have him in the action pose. And um, yeah, a lot of people were looking to get this one, and it's one that a lot of people missed out on. So I figured um, I do my uh, <laughs> I give back to the community and make it uh, available to you guys instead of hoarding it. So uh, here you guys go. This is the last option as far as um, available for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So drop down in the comment section below which of these three collectibles you like. And I thought that was a good idea by the community. That's why I like to put a lot of things in your hands instead of me speaking for you guys. So. Um, you have an option to get any of those things I talk about channel as far as Pokemon, comic books, and Funko Pops. So let me know what you guys like in the comment section below. And it's all up to you. Winner's choice gets what they want. So make sure you uh, share this video. Make sure you tell your friends. And uh, as soon as we hit the 10,000 mark, I'll give these away. So let's get right into the Funko Pop I have for you guys for the day's Speculation Saturday's pick. So like I mentioned, I might have already picked this pop before. I definitely have picked pops from the set before. Um, but I have no problem suggesting a pop multiple times, but sometimes I think there's news that changes events or um, makes the um, speculation as far as the price going higher happen faster. And I think that there's a catalyst for this to become um, more expensive quicker, and that is the Green Ranger. So, like I mentioned in the past with the Power Ranger pops, they're all vaulted. I, I, I'm, almost positive that Funko lost their license to make Power Ranger products. So I don't believe there'll be anyone, any more coming anytime soon. And maybe ever, just because I don't know if they're gonna give out the license again. They already have a, substan a substantial line of uh, Power Ranger pops out there. So I don't know if Funko's gonna try to reacquire that or not, unless it becomes huge again, like it, how it was in the 90s. But Green Ranger is my suggestion for, guys, for you guys today. Um, if you guys are into comic books and follow comic books at all, you know there's been a new Green Ranger uh, announced. And, um, you know, Power Rangers, the comic book, is a lot more dark, a lot uh, cooler than the TV show was. The TV show was really, really silly. The comic books is a lot more dark and gory. And uh, the new Green Ranger definitely has potential to be something pretty cool moving forward. So um, Power Ranger fandom is still pretty big and people that are into it are really, really into it. And I strongly suggest you guys to pick this one up because if people who are into Power Rangers start collecting um, any kind of you know collectibles and memorabilia for Power Rangers, I think the Green Ranger is gonna be something they're gonna want to get, especially since it's limited now and it's not really available. A lot of people don't really collect Funko Pops, but a lot of people buy Funko Pops because it has something to do with their hobby. And I don't think Power Rangers is any different. I can definitely see people in the Power Rangers collecting Funko Pops and trying to get this set um, if they don't already have it. And with the Green Ranger's popularity, probably got the uh, you know skyrocket again. This is one you want to get before it's too late. Now there is another Green Ranger. I think it was a San Diego Comic Con one that you can get. Um, but this one's just a regular one. Um, it's common. I don't think it's too expensive at the moment. It might be twenty something bucks. Um, so definitely one I would pull the trigger on before it's too late. And um, I can only see the momentum for this pop moving forward uh, from here on out, just because. It's already vaulted, it's got some fandom behind it, the fandom's still going on with Power Rangers, and I don't see Funko ever making any of these pops again. So definitely one I would just get into your, your collection if you didn't get the first time I suggested it, if I did, and uh, it's a really cool one to get in your collection either way, just because Power Rangers is so nostalgic. So there you guys go, just a few things I wanted to go over today. Make sure you're tuning in to the community page on this channel so you can make be involved in the next pick for our Funko Pop portfolio. Drop down the comment section below what you guys would like if you were to win this giveaway. And let me know what you thought, uh, thought about today's pick for Speculation Saturdays. As always, I really do appreciate you guys and that's why I like to give back as much as I can and give you this information when I come across it. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you've not already, hit that like button, hit subscribe button if you're new, and check me out on Instagram at ThePopSavage so you can stay connected there too. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.